Hello everybody, my name is Markiplier and welcome back to Fran Bow. Now I got all the technical problems worked out so everything should be roughly back to where they were and hopefully my computer won't crash again. So, what we did in the last episode or I can't remember exactly where it cut off, but there was a little bit of a revelation that I had. Oh, you're all skinny, yeah. I'm pretty sure that I did this in the last episode, but just in case I didn't, I'm starting here because I can't be bothered apparently to go back and look, but... I don't know if I mentioned it in the last one, but it was really interesting that in the- in the world where I take the pill, when I put the key on the rack, the key actually literally goes there, and she can't see me. So in the beginning phase, did the doctor just not know I was there, or is this just because her back was turned on me? Like, that's the big question here. I can't remember Aunt Grace's phone number. I'll just surprise her when I get home. Oh, a love letter. Dear Pete. Ugh, gross. Grown-up stuff. Okay. I don't have any more keys. Okay, so the code is here. I definitely didn't do this for you guys last time, or I don't think I did. So December 17th is 12 plus 17, which is 39, 29, and July 25th is uh, 7 plus 25, which is 32. So 29 and 32. 2, 9, 3, 2. Bang, got it. I'm the best, I'm the very best. Those are my lines, but I'm trying to be a bit more calm in the narration here. Also, I did discover there were two different things that I did that I did not do in my last playthrough because I had to play through from the beginning again because I'm on my old my old computer that hasn't had as many problems crashing. So, uh, the first of which, that old lady in the first conversation, she never put me back in the room because I managed to convince her that the doctor told me that I needed to go eat. Where in the last one, she put me back in the room and I thought I told her the same thing. And in this one, the security guard, I actually got him to eat the drug lady donut or cinnamon bun because I went a different dialogue path so what that tells me is that there's different ways to approach certain situations depending on how you talk to people and their responses will be dictated by what you say to them so I don't know if this is gonna be the same because it crashed later and I had to cut it forward because I was only able to there it is you little bitch I will make you pay for what you did you woke up quick I didn't spill oh Oh yeah, that's the same. Hello, hi, how's it going? You clever little girl. Do you think you can just leave? Oh God, oh God. Oh, what? It can't be. No! Oh, okay, what happened? Oh, hey. Hi. Did you save me? That's good, I think. Okay then, bye. Alrighty then. I need to get to the maze, in my deep manly voice that Fran Bo has. Come back here, little pretty kitty. Oh man, that's cool. Okay, so I need to get to the maze. I imagine the maze is the start of chapter two. Man, I was really cool. It, it crashed before right when the, the monster, whoa. Oh, so he's not dead. Wait, am I just slipping into the shadow world? I don't know what else to call it besides the shadow world. Am I just slipping in and out? Whoa. Wait, is this? Oh, I am controlling this, then why do I have a fast-forward symbol? I don't think I should be able to skip over this. Oh, this is adorable. Oh, look at that. I imagine it's probably very sinister, but I guess if you were sick of the maze and you didn't want to go through the whole game. But I mean, why would I do that? It's, it's pretty, I think. I mean, it's not nearly as disturbing and bloody as a lot of the other things in this game. But I'm sure I, it'll, I'm sure that'll change very soon. Okay. So I, I, I'm, I think I'm looking for my cat while I'm in here. Hello, is this important? Oh, hi. What is that? This is so weird because a lot of elements of this game juxtapose the childish antics that Franbo does get into sometimes, and like the fact that they are all children and they're all interacting with each other in childish ways, like drawing a picture for the king to get his cane, but that's juxtaposed against, like, the horrible, bloody, gory environment that it's in in the Shadow World, and that is really weird. Alrighty then. I guess I'm winning. I don't know exactly what I'm supposed to be doing. Uh, okay. I mean, it, it, it's really interesting and really charming, but also really disturbing at the same time, and it's hard for something to pull off something that's charming and disturbing. Like, it's very rare that I, that actually happens in games. Or in movies, for that matter. I mean, there's, there's an element of using, like, children as horror pieces in a movie. Like, remember from The Shining, the twins in the hallway? Like, the creepy, creepy twins? 
Like, sometimes the fact that there are children in a seemingly insane and horrible environment can lead to a lot of different elements of fear that aren't originally there. Because aren't we all children inside? There's probably something profound that I could say about all that, but I don't have the mental capacity to formulate my thoughts properly. So I'll just keep meandering through the maze. I can see why there's a fast forward thing now, because this seems to be- Whoa. Come on now. This seems to be a little bit tedious here. And also really weird, like why was this just insert after everything seemed to be in a giant panic? There was a giant monster that was after me, and then apparently the cat on the unicycle was able to scare it away. I don't know if that's symbolic of anything, but that's all I got for now. Okay. Oh, hello. Oh, good. I entered a sewer pipe. I got an achievement for I found my way out. At the end of the maze, you will find... The Evil Critters of the Night. They will hunt you. They will laugh. There will always be a good side. A cat full of nuts and bolts will always be your guide. Uh oh. Oh no! How did that fall out of my Aunt Grace's purse? Or no, that was my mom's purse. Well, I guess I'm just leaving that behind then. I don't know why. I guess I can't go back for that. Chapter 2, Part 1, Curiosity Symptoms. You know, for that, the other chapter being my sober day, I sure did pop a lot of pills, but I did discover a lot of things too. Oh. Oh my goodness, that was close. Where am I? Oh, there I am. This is like a literal, literal going down the rabbit hole. I hope the guards don't find the sewer. I don't think the guards get paid enough to go down into the sewer after you. I think they just leave you for lost. Oh, this instrument is pretty. It reminds me of a snake that sounds like an elephant. Trumpet, I used to play that. I remembered something funny. Okay. A very old uncle tried to blow on one of these. Haha. -ha. He farted all his gases out because it was so hard to blow. Okay, that is pretty funny. Good job. It can be good to have a cozy place to stay. I know a story about a girl with red shoes, and she had a dog. And then she got sent to a horrible world. Wow, a piano. It sounds old. What about the barrel? Mr. Midnight, are you in there? Probably not. Well, let's see what the Shadow World has to do. Oh! Oh, that's different! This is completely different. Instead of being bloody and gory, it's ghostly. And actually not all that bad. Oh! I can make something out of this. Okay. A door. So I do- Whoa! Okay, bye then. Thank you. So I picked up a door. I didn't even know. Like, how am I supposed to be able to tell exactly what is good and what is bad? Who dares to leave an innocent teddy without shelter? Oh, hi. Well, that's probably bad. Should I get this key, or is this a trap? Oh, okay. Curiosity is damned. Damn you, curiosity. Oh, I like to be curious. Otherwise, how will you learn things? Let's see. Anyway, why won't you allow me to take the key? What are you? What is the right question, but why should be more appropriate? I don't have time to chat, sir. I want the key, that's all. Oh, but the key isn't ours. It's not for yours, for sure. Let's see. It's always good to have an extra key, especially when you're up to something. We couldn't care less. The affection towards you is simply none. You are very honest. I like that. I'm a person. Fran, pleased to meet you. Interesting. Tell us more. I have a cat. Well, I had one. He's missing now. I have to find him. Really? Yes, really. Now please, give me the key. Look, person Fran, we came from the south, flying as always. And one of us got curious about this key, and all of us got stuck here. And because of our long hair, we can't get it loose. So you are also curious. Can I help you? We usually get stuck on trees, but we have something to fix that. A beautiful comb to comb our hair every time we get stuck. Alright, do that then. There is a problem. A filthy thief took the comb. Now we are stuck forever. If you find the thief and the comb, you will have the key. Deal. Yes, but what does he look like? 
It's a rat, a filthy narcissist rat. He took the comb to be beautiful. We couldn't do much, so he ran away with it. Please find it and free us from curiosity. I'll find him. I hope he hasn't gone too deep in the forest. I'll find him. We will be here, waiting, sadly, just floating heads, that's all. Okay. It doesn't seem like there's a lot of difference- whoa. Oh, okay. I went mid-transition and I didn't go all the way into the other world. Hope I didn't bug out the game. Wow, there's a really big insect. Oh, wow! You're a really big ant! Who's there?! Oh, excuse me, sir. Are you real? Ah! You always ask the same thing. Always! Always? What do you mean by always? Of course I'm real. Where did you come from? Oh, I escaped the mental hospital. But please don't tell anybody. I won't tell, don't worry. But what are you doing here? My cat is out here somewhere, and I have to find him! A cat, you say? Yes, sir. A black cat with very big yellow eyes. Mr. Midnight. Oh, I see. I'm sorry, girl. Oh, so you haven't seen it? It happens to be that the cat is eaten, chewed and swallowed. Uh-oh. Eaten? What do you mean? The black cat came towards me in a hurry. I catch it, I give it to my beetle pig. My beetle pig is hungry. Oh, my poor beetle pig hasn't had any food in days. The blueberry time passed by and we ate them all. Stop it! Can't you see? Mr. Midnight is the only one I have. Please tell me that you're joking. <laughs> oh, that's so sad. Oh, little girl, don't cry. I can sing for you if you like. What will I do now? You don't know how it feels to be alone. I do know, yes. I'm the last one alive. Let me help you, yes? How could you possibly help me? The digestion is not so fast, you know. Maybe he's still alive inside the beetle pig. Should I do something like make the beetle pig vomit? Kill the beetle pig. He is also the only friend I have left, but I need the meat. Oh god, that's sad. I'm curious to know if my kitty is still in there. Do it! You can kill my beetle pig, and I, Antonio the Greatest, shall eat the meat. Well, this seems like a fair deal, I suppose. I mean, I'm glad you didn't cut the middleman and just eat my cat. Oh, you pig, did you eat my cat? Maybe I can find out. Oh, absolutely no one's here except a shadow drifting in the background. That's not helpful at all. Well, how am I gonna kill a beetle pig? I only got a wooden door and a crayon. I could imagine myself up something. Alright. Hello, Mr. Owl. Oh, there's an axe over there. What kind of bird are you? Uh, an owl! I literally just said that, thank you. So, should I take the oikes? Let's see. Whoa, the terrible axe. I will be the warrior and savior of things. Maybe I could combine it with the door. Nope, I don't want to destroy the door, but I do want to destroy a beetle pig. Just on a whim. Oh, hello. Hi. Make an entry. I'm guessing that I would use that with the axe, and that would work out. You look like an owl, is that it? Your feathers are beautiful and glowing. So, I'm under the impression that maybe this is a choice here. Maybe I don't have to kill the beetle pig, because I would imagine that it's not entirely true. Hmm. I mean, there could be, like, I mean, he said he needed the meat, so what else would I do? I guess. I mean, I guess? I guess I have to live with this decision. Oh no, Beetle Pig! I feel so bad! I know it's probably not actually my cat. Wake up, the pig won't stay still! Oh, he's sleeping? Oh, seems it. Shouting. Oh. Hello, Beetle Pig. Oh, you pig, did you eat my cat? Oh, I don't know. Here. <laughs> oh, he won't stay still. That's really sad. Oh, he's probably just gonna go back and forth between these two. If he goes back to the other place after this one, then definitely... I'm not supposed to be axing him. Oh no! Hang on, wait a minute. Oh, hello! Hello, Beetle Pig! How are you doing? Nah, there's no way. Plus, I'm just a little girl! How am I supposed to be able to do that? But what I probably definitely could do... is use the axe on this... little thing right here. And then this would lead me somewhere I need to go. 
Bing bong. Okay, I still have the axe, too. So. What a bluff. There's no hole in here. Oh. Maybe it means make an entry by literally putting the door? I should make it into a complete door before trying this. How do I do that? Oops, sorry. Do I draw on it? Draw a handle? Nothing? Of course. What was I thinking? I don't know! I'm thinking random thoughts! I'm a little girl lost in an ethereal world of nightmares. What else could I possibly do? Maybe... What happens if I use the axe on this tree? What would that do? Probably that's another way that I could go, but I'll only use that as a last reward, as a resort. So there's gotta be something else here that I could possibly use. I mean, it doesn't exactly- was that horse there? I don't remember that horse being there. Hmm. It's like playing spot the difference. The king would like this one. Not going back, though, he must escape himself. So maybe there's something else I could use this on. No, um, oh, hey, how's it going there? Sorry, I didn't mean to use the axe on that. Even though you look like a cat-like shadow monster. Use the axe on the teddy bear? I won't even try that. Then why'd you go up to it? Maybe the axe on the bed. It looks a little flayed as it is. Trying out things is good, but in this case it won't do any good. Okay, so that's a little hopeless. So my only, my only idea left is that I... Where else would I go that I would find a rat? The only rat that I saw was in the crawling in the vents in the last episode, but... I don't think I can go back at all. I can't even go back into the thing. Any difference. Let me just see if there's one more difference. No, it doesn't look like it. Okay, so... The only other thing I can think of is that I could use this on this. Sometimes things just won't work. Okay, so that's definitely not it. Then I have to find a way to make this a complete door before... I go through through. And how do I do that? Oh, a feather. Oh, okay. I'll keep it. I didn't know. The owl's missing feather. Tickle, tickle. Can it combine with the door? No. Ooh, maybe I could tickle the pig. Maybe I could tickle fart him out of there. Piggy, piggy. You want a piggy, piggy, piggy? Use a feather on the beetle pig? Hmm, even if it works, I wouldn't know for what purpose. Maybe I could use it on him. Tickle, tickle. Ah, the third is great! Great! Oh man, he just had a flashback. Let's see. Sir, wake up now! I think the beetle pig doesn't like the idea of being killed. Oh, I see. But that is completely normal, isn't it? Let's see. Yes, but what should I do then? You have to give him the special berries. The blueberries. Mm. But there are no berries in the woods. I shouldn't say this to you, but I have the right connection. They live inside my house. They have blueberries. My house is in that direction. Be careful. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you for opening up this mysterious road to travel upon. I wonder how this can go wrong. Oh, hey. Oh! Oh. What? Hello. Vroom, bip, bip, look, Fram, I'm in danger. Find me alive, find me dead. Bip, bip. Find me someday in a golden cage. Okay. That's weird. Why is that? What's with the mechanical cat? I mean, it's obvious that I'm desperate for a little cat, but... You know, I'm desperate to find my cat. But then, uh, oh, well then, that's interesting. Wow, this is a really big anthill. Oh. Ah. Okay, all right then. Hello. This must be the ant's house. Seems to be open, but very stuck. Power of destruction will take it down. Well, I'm a little girl with nothing but the power of destruction, so I'll give it a go. Uh oh I broke the door. Well, too bad for me, but at least I got a doorknob, so if I use this with this, this is perfect, but the handle won't stay on. Okay, so I'm gonna figure out another thing to get that on there. Like this glue! Perfect. Okay, I shouldn't take other stuff, but I want super glue for the attachment. Okay, so combine that with that, combine that with that, and we got a fully functional door. That's good for me because now I can go forward. Mm, tea time, sir. Someone forgot to clean the brush. This is really where an ant lives? This is odd. I thought ants never cooked their meals. Maybe it's not an ant! Maybe it's not an ant at all. What is this, underpants? Ant underpants? They smell good. Grandpa soap. Ugh, gross! There is water in the sink. Maybe Sir Ant likes to drown tiny monsters in there. That's a little bit of a dark thought, Fran. 
It's really weird. Or maybe he's just a clean ass. Like, she's surprised at the dark thoughts that she says. That's what I noticed when she was talking. Like, she has moments where it's, like, really dark. Like, the hands on the handprints on the bed and the doll. Like, bloody handprints. Ugh. Stealing your soul. Horrible. I think I'm gonna blanket a lot of creatures. Like, bugs and such. Eat your brain. Ugh. Hello. Oh, hi. Oh, is it time to get the berries? Excuse me. You are all really, really weird. Can I have your berries? Boink! Uh-oh. Oh no! Oh, why am I doing that to the baby? Take that, baby. Okay, so that one's sharpening a doodad. Sir, you look so angry. Wow, you're very rare. Okay, Lady Pinecone, what are you cooking? Owie! Okay, the blueberries, ow, that hurts. So there's gotta be a way that I can get around this. Let me distract them. Okay, maybe drop the baby. Nope, man. They are on that. Uh, okay, so there's got to be a way to sneaky around this. Maybe if I, maybe if I take a pill, I'll get a better idea. Whoa! That's not what I was expecting. Holy crap! Whoa! I'm not taking that bag. Not with all these ants on it. Well, I don't know exactly how to get rid of the ants. Oh my goodness! A pest exterminator, and he's dead. Okay, tiny creatures, please don't eat me. Oh, this does not look friendly. Ugh. Sir, you have tons of ants on you. Don't know if you noticed. Aha, there we go. Okay, so I can get up here and then I can get the meat? Okay. You wouldn't mind if I take a little meat for those who hunger, and maybe those who hunger is the ones inside the house. I mean, this is a lot of meat for a little family, but I do what I can. Oh, I know. Oh, I know what this is for. Oh, I know what this meat is for. This meat is not for me. This meat is for the ants, because the ants need more meat, and then they'll get away from the bag. Yeah, ah, there we go, so now I can get the bag, I can get what I need, examine the bag, shows an anti-bug sign, the bag's open, so I got, whatever the hell this is, exterminator John Flomet, 714-21728, okay then, so I've got a phone number, if I find a phone I could probably ring that up, alright, good enough here, so now I can go back to here and probably use the trap, here, so that he won't be able to stab me away from his doodads. Ah, there we go. This might hurt him, though. Oh. Oh, he's not that bad. Okay, I got the berries. Oh. Oh, now you're getting me. How about the baby? Oh, no, the baby. Ha 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 ha. I got them. They smell delicious. Ha ha. You're all gonna starve. Oh, no. They locked the door. Maybe they should have done that in the beginning. I was a horrible guest to have over. Okay. So, what is that in there? Queen of Meat. Oh! He's an ant. Oh, he would find that attractive. Oh, okay. Well. Alrighty then. I found ant porn. Oh, hi. You're supposed to be in my nightmares. Why are you in the reality? What? Ah! A constant! Okay, I see what's going on. Oh, goodbye then. Okay. Alright then. So that is interesting. Okay, so we finally have something that's actually a constant in this world, and now I have the berries, which can make the the bug stay still so I can murder it. Beat the berries! Oh, you pig, did you eat my kid? How about a little bit of this? Oh, gosh! Oh, gosh! Oh! Oh, that's not a cat at all! <laughs> what? You are not my cat! Oh, miss, you saved me from misery. But where is Mr. Midnight? I assume that you are feeling disappointed. Who are you looking for? My cat, my lovely cat, Mr. Midnight. Oh, Miss Lady, I'm not very fond of cats, you know. A black one with a very big yellow eyes was trying to catch me. Really? My cat is also black. Wait, maybe that cat is my cat. I'm a really smart ten-year-old. Oh, my lady. If he is, then he's the one in trouble now. Tell me where you saw him the last time, please. I can show you. Follow me, please. It's not far from here. Okay, are you gonna give me anything? Sorry about your pig, sir. Thank you. Now we eat. I can't. Just so you know, inside the beetle pig, there was not a cat, but a rat. A rat? Oh, I'm sorry. You see, my eyes are very old, and I'm afraid you killed my best friend for nothing. 
I also have heart problems and a very bad back, but I do enjoy the queen of meat every once in a while. I also suffer from narcolepsy and some... <laughs> okay, goodbye, sir. I think, anyway. I think you fell asleep. Hello. Here we are. Somebody took a miss. They just disappeared. Oh my goodness. Could you be more specific? I wish I could. It looked like the earth swallowed them. If there's anything else I can do for you, just let me know. I'll be around. Excuse me, did you steal a hair comb? Oh, the hair comb! The shiny, beautiful hair comb. Can I have it, please? All right, then. But can you please comb my hair first? Yes, I can comb your hair. Oh, that's adorable. He looks so happy. I mean, it's weird, but happy. Thank you, my lady. You are very kind. Okay, I got a hair comb. Now I can get a key. Because I, I imagine the one I set up this door. I don't think I can get the... I don't think I can get the... Axe bags. Very sorry, Beetle Pig. I wish I didn't kill you. But too late for that, I guess. Okay, no soul of the demon pig, or the beetle pig, waiting for me in the afterlife. Okay, so now I got the comb. I can use the comb to untangle the hair. Oh, I can use the comb to untangle the hair. Here's your beautiful comb, misters. That's less cute. That's less adorable. That's really creepy, actually. Oh, wow. Oh, you fran person. You finally did it! Hope the key opens the door you wish to open. Now we fly south at last. Goodbye! I don't know if that was the voice I originally used for it. I always forget my voices. Oh, beautiful. Good shiny misters. Have a nice trip. Okay, then. I'll take the key. All right, so I got the key that I can use on the door once I set it up. At least that's what I imagine that is supposed to happen. That's probably what's supposed to happen. Oh, God. Rat? Who did this to you? Was it my kitty? Oh, gosh. Oh, okay, you're fine. But this weird nod. Alright, then never mind. Okay, so I gotta set up the door. Use on there. This is really odd. My own door is locked. So if I use this on that. Hey, there we go! I got a key to a door that I made that the key was available before. This is really weird. Some backwards logic going on here. But I bet that's the end of chapter two, part one. What a curious little door. I wonder where it will lead me. Mr. Midnight, are you here? Oh! Oh, that's not good! Oh, alright then, I'll fall asleep then. It was so scary I fell asleep when you poked me in the eye with your weird hand tongue. Chapter 2, Part 2, Double Personality. Oh, so this is where the other half of me comes out. Great. Oh. Uh. Oh my goodness, where am I? I don't know, but it's weird! Huh? What is this? A hat? Boy, that's not Frambo's voice. Okay. Oddly enough, the cat symbolism seems to be following me throughout this game. Mr. Midnight! Oh no, is this your head? Probably not. Wait a second, this is not my kitty! What a weird hat. Alrighty then. But I am hearing those creaks upstairs, so I imagine that this part of the chapter is gonna be a lot more disturbing than the last one. Oh, I didn't read that. Oh, you guys read it. Okay. Welcome home, beautiful kitten. We hope you like your new bed. Be nice and eat your food. Love, Clara and Mia. Okay, then. Did you steal my cat, or do you think that I'm your cat? A cooker to cook? My mommy told me how to use this, but unfortunately, mom's dead. I don't like to light the matches, though. Okay, so is there anything I can grab immediately? Like, that's first and foremost. Ooh, a sharpie, shiny knife. It can be good to have you. To dry my little hands. I don't have soup. I don't need a spoon, spatula, yummy, honey, bag, flour, rose, baking soda. Ah, there we go. Always had the biggest cupcakes and a pine cone. So I think that's everything that I need from there. And I don't know why on their ingredient shelf there's a human skull. But okay. Oh! God, there's so many things that I could easily overlook if I don't just spastically click on everything in sight. Okay, whatever. I did my best and I did pretty good. Do I need any firewood? Fire would keep the chimney warm. Mr. Midnight, those girls, they took my kitty. And time for nightmares. Oh, what? I'm at the bottom of the well. 
But that doesn't make a lot of sense. What the hell happened? Oh, hello, little baby. What are you doing here? What an adorable little baby. Nobody loves you, but you're so pretty. I like you. At least you're on the wall. Like a picture so everyone can see you. Great. A secret bottle with a secret in bottle? That is a frickin' rock. I'm very curious right now. What could it be? It's a rock. It's a rock. Oh, I see you have it comfortable there, little baby. Did your mommy drop you? Oh, I bet she did because she was sick. It's not your fault. Oh, God. You seem fresh. Are you still alive? Oh, you took your placenta with you. The, the placenta is like a jetpack of blood and nutrients. Oh, my goodness gracious, Gravy. Oh! <laughs> oh, hello. There's the bottle. I did not see that. I'm very curious right now. Good for you. We're gonna get there eventually, and you're not gonna fall to your doom. I can't get there from here. I need a bridge. Well, what do I have? I've got a pot, baking soda, and a knife. <sighs> I don't know. Baking powder to make soft dough bigger and beautiful. Well then, what about a knife to dig out like a brick or something? Use a knife with Fran. Sharpie knife to cut stuff and protect me from kitty and kitty from evil. Probably. What could it be? Maybe I could throw the knife at it? Heh! I won't do, but I definitely do need the knife later, so... If I stop with the pill, and then I go over there, I'm gonna need things to be able to get out of here. God, more ingredients. Click, click. Salt, a very good ingredient. I don't know what for, but maybe I can make a baking soda volcano. That might help. Ugh. Looks like a seed. Not a very good seed. Oats, somebody else's food. Let's see. Pepper. Okay. Apparently I'm gonna make a soup, and I don't know why. Why am I gonna make a soup? Alright, then. Water running for some reason. If I had a pot, then I could fill the pot with water. I guess. Oh, if I had pot, I could put the pot- There we go. Got it. Got he. Okay. Water in the pot, ready to cook. And there's matches to light the oven. But why am I doing this? I seem to be getting a lot of ingredients, but I don't know exactly why. They don't smell, must it be plastic flowers. It's a lovely painting over there. I imagine that the pill is always going to lead me into the well, so I don't think I need to do that many times. You know, I'm starting to think that maybe Franbo doesn't know what's on the pill and what's off the pill anymore, and it's kind of dancing between the two. Because I don't imagine that this is a real place in the middle of the forest. It's got to be... Ugh. Hello. How are you doing? That is not my cup. Teapot has no tea. Delicious and beautiful. Cake absolutely yummy. Cake my favorite, should I? Maybe just a little. Oh, I ate some! Well, that probably wasn't a good decision. Oh, that really probably wasn't a good decision. Now I understand what the deer wanted back in the hospital. Oh, that's right! Good reference! The deer in the hospital, its head fell off. Was that it? I think that's what happened. It wanted its head on the wall. Silly me. Yes, you're silly you. Oh wait, there was something down there that I think I could have grabbed. There's like some dust around there? Yeah, a vase, a vase to put some flowers in. Okay, and some logs. Firewood in line to be burnt. Hi! Oh! This doesn't look good! Is this why... Okay, that's why there were two girls in the first picture, or th there was a girl with two heads in the first picture. Oh, hi, oh my goodness, the smell. Hi. Poor girl, who could have done this and why? I need to be careful and protect my kitty and myself. Yeah. Oh, Jants! Jazz ants! I get it, I get it. It makes sense now. Okay. Ugh. A typewriter, and it works. I guess I could write, but there's no paper. And a good writer has to know what to write about first. Well, I could have taken more paper from that kid whose head exploded. That would have been a little more prudent of me. There are many books and things on this shelf. Owls and cats are a bit alike. Yeah, except one's a bird and one's a feline. The stairs end up in a wall. Maybe that was the door I made and now it disappeared. I have to find another way out. That does make sense, though. Many tiny paintings and there is a cat. Okay, so if I go up here, I'm just gonna explore a little bit more and then I'll find my way down. Let's see. Ugh. Drawer open, let me see what's inside. I've got candles to light up the darkness. I'm getting a lot of things. Sisters, they look alike. Drawer 
doors. Empty, that looks fun. Monster who likes goats. Maybe it's a goat who likes skeletons, you never know. Okay, and there's something there that could be pulled. That, oh! Well, I'll go up there in a second. I'm gonna explore the rest of the house first. Lovely mirror, no reflection. You're a vampire, it's very obvious. It's that monster and so much blood. Let's see, it looks like a very old painting and something over here that I need. Ugh. Tweezers to pick up things that my little hands can't. I just noticed how disturbing the amalgam of faces was in the top left. I was too much focused on the doll bin in the bottom left and the baby doll in the cage. Ugh. These toys are so ugly. Alright, good. I hope they didn't hear me. I don't want them trying to catch me and kill me. Oh, that would just be the worst. I'm pretty sure- I just want to test. Yeah. Okay. That's obvious. Okay, so that fell me back down in the well. Oh. Okay, hang on. Cozy and warm. Let me just double check that I got everything that I needed from there. I forgot that I could double click and just move along. Come on, come on, come on. We don't have all day. Hello, doll. Who caught you? I don't know if anybody caught him, her. I hope this never happens to me. It kind of did in the asylum. I guess it doesn't need to happen if I'm clever enough. Good point. White candles are everywhere, but the ones that I picked up were- Hi! How's it going there? Oh, good. Let's see, the sisters, they look alike. Yeah, their eyes are completely white and- Oh, I just got so many chills down my spine. Oh my god. There's so many things in this room that I don't like. Uh, uh, the toys in the attic always carry sadness with them. I mean, the main point being the thing under the sheets, but also that mannequin in the corner, these down here, that Chinese doll. The scorpion is no okay, but the fox on the wall, oh, a lot of tiny stuff. Maybe I need to use a tweezers. That's some lovely creaking. Oh my god. Everything in this room gives me the heebie-jeebies. This is like a room of my nightmares all in one. Uh, okay. Babies who shoot you two together. I don't want to know. It looks like it hurts. Don't cry, all right? Yeah, don't do that. You just smile and be nice. It's time to sleep. Oh, ho, ho, ho. ah, oh, ah, Foxy. Oh no, I wish I could take you out of here. All righty then. Well, let's see the sisters, but they look old in this picture. Just one hat. Mr. Midnight, are you here, Kitty? Meow. Yeah. Mr. Midnight, don't be scared. I'm here for you. Fran, is that really you? Oh dear, finally. It's me. Come closer, please. Let me see you. Oh, it is. Oh, Fran, I'm so happy to see you. I missed you very much. I had dreams about you. And here you are. Thank you for not giving up. I love you, my friend. I love you too, Mr. Midnight, and I really miss you. Oh, dear Fran, how did you find this place? After those people took you away in the woods, I tried to follow them. But after a while, I got lost. My senses were too weak to track you. I tried to catch some food to recover. But something happened. Somebody took me and put me in this cage. I wish nothing of this had happened to us, Kitty. I will open this cage. Fran, I'm very tired. I wish everything was just a bad dream. Everything is gonna be fine. We just have to get out of here. Fran, can I ask you something? Sure, Mr. Midnight. Anything you need. Did you feel my presence in your dream? Yes, I did! You told me to take the medicine and find you. What medicine, Fran? It wasn't really me talking to you. I think somebody was helping us get together. 
Was it the mechanical kitty or is this something bad and sinister? Every time I had dreams about you, I felt the presence of something else. Really? What kind of presence? For what I felt, it wasn't human, but it was really peaceful and kind. Well, whatever it is, it's good, and it brought us together. Fran, did you hear that? Did you? I don't know. What did you hear? Oh, I'll see what it is. I'll try to find the key to unlock you, all right? I love you. Smooches. Okay, then. Can I get that umbrella? No, no umbrella? Okay, fine. I don't know what the noises are. Mr. Rat, it's time to get up. Met another rat a while ago. Are you tired, sir? Ugh. Alrighty then. Hi, Jesus. God damn it. I feel like I could have clicked on that, but I wasn't ready. <laughs> I'm not ready for the ghost to just appear out of nowhere in front of me. Hello. Hi. Oh, you scared me. I thought nobody was living here. There you are. We were waiting for you. Where is your head? My head? My head is just in the right place. You, the precious being from the other world, would you ever believe us? I'm confused. What are you talking about? Franbo, that's your name, right? And your mom and dad died tragically, very beautiful. Brutal, not beautiful, right? And now you really want to know who killed them, right? You're scaring me. How can you know all this? We just know we have to. We are part of this world. But don't be sad. Bad things happen to all of us. All the time. I wish I was at home with mommy and daddy right now. Don't wish for things that can't be done. Find solutions and answers. Yes, but the pain I feel is so great. I can't see solutions. Drink some tea and eat some cake. It will make you feel better. Thank you. But really, I need to know. Who told you these things about me? Are you scared, little friend? Of course not. I'm just curious, that's all. I'm mostly confused. You haven't asked about your cat yet, Mr. Midnight. That's very odd for a girl who loves a cat more than anything else in the world. And yet you look so calm after finding him in a cage. Hungry and scared. Shouldn't it be us trembling in fear of you? I love him, and that is why I'm here. I didn't mean to be rude. You want him back? Yes, please. I really wish to have him back. He's my best friend. Before we set him free, tell us how it is that you came here. It's a long story. I escaped from a place. A very ugly place. They opened the heads of children to find out what's wrong with them. Phil told me a secret, and I was clever enough to find the way out. And then I came into the woods and met a giant ant. And I killed a bug, and it was terrible. And then I met a rat who wanted to get his hair done. And then I made a door, and that door took me here. But when I entered the door, something happened. I don't remember anything else. Ah! Oh, and I saw a real pinecone family. That was before I came here. They live in Mr. Antonio's house. They like berries. And, and, why? And I saw flying insects that got stuck in trees because they have long hair. That was also in the woods, and now here I am, looking for Mr. Midnight. Now that she says it all out loud, that sounds really, really crazy. Or like the ramblings of the imagination of a ten-year-old. Because maybe that's what this is all about. Maybe the imagination of a ten-year-old is fueling these nightmares. That was some adventure. How old are you, friend? I'm ten years old, but I have to turn eleven soon. And you? We are sixteen years old, much older than us, so you have to obey. You can't tell me what to do. I just wish you would open the cage so I can go home with my kitty. You haven't even asked our names. That's not polite. And you shouldn't wander around in a house without permission. Are you stupid? A stupid little girl with no family at all. I'm not stupid, and I do have a family. I have Aunt Grace and my kitten. Are you crying? Because if you are, you'll get in trouble. If you don't do exactly as we say, you and your cat will die. Screw you! Do you understand? No, you don't scare me. Free my cat now. 
You idiot, you asked for it. Uh oh. If you don't do what we ask for, bad things will happen to your cat. We will force you to kill him with your own hands. You are evil and poisoned. But I'll do whatever you say. Oh, okay, so I didn't have a choice anyway. I could take him! I could fight him! It's still one-on-one -on -one even if you have two heads. Let's see. We need you to perform a little magic trick on us. Do you like magic? Yes, Annie also did magic, but she didn't have any idea how it actually do it. Anyway, this- not for your ramblings. This magic is very powerful, tremendous and dangerous. Here is the recipe. Be cautious and precise, otherwise terrible things can happen. Okay. Oh! Summon the old lost boy. This seems like one of the games you play at midnight and then a demon comes out and consumes your entire family. Let's see. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it. Do it yourself! We can't do it, it would kill us, you see. We weren't like this before. We used to be two different people in two different bodies. But how is that you're like this now? One night at midnight, a long time ago, something appeared in front of us. We thought it was an angel, but it was not. He decided that we should spend eternity together. He cursed us to be like this. We never understood why. We have a spell to bring him back. But we will do that later when we are not attached to each other. And show him that he is powerless, and he will regret it. That sounds terrible. I'll try my best, though. La da 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 da. We are going to gather some things you will need for the ritual. And because you have been a very nutty girl, you won't even be able to talk to your cat. You'll have to wait until we come back. Oh, please let me talk to him. Let me give him some food. No, you can't. Aw, oh, that's mean. And Fran, do you see this key? Can you imagine what can be opened with it? Can you, you silly, silly girl? <laughs> okay. Anyway, goodbye, twinsies. I don't even know what your name was. I forgot to ask. Or I forgot to pay attention when you said it. Boy, they sure were mean. I wonder if there was another way to go through that dialogue that I would be able to actually see my cat. I mean, I was a little bit combat combative, but hey, they deserved it. Okay. Lost in the darkness, lost in tears, your body becomes a lie through the hands of the one angel that brings you sorrow. You will need the heart of a frog, the head of a young virgin, hair and blood from a black cat. Oh, God. A pentagram made of ashes, the burnt body of a fox. This must all be cooked together in a pot or cauldron with plenty of water. When you were a about to drink the potion, repeat these words. Manam bukag zeni, omana, irg bonte, ir ibur, eshiburman, kagjane babuka, ibur fawern, fawern. Apparently, I either just summoned a demon or every Sims from Sims is coming to find me and kill me. Anyway, so that's just something I'll have to face when it gets to it. So, I imagine that because of these ingredients and the way that they're laid out, there must be a way around it that I wouldn't need to do exactly what they're saying. So maybe I can make them think, because I did gather a lot of ingredients, which would mean that I would have a lot of options to do things, so it's entirely possible that there's another way around this. Because I, like, one of the ingredients is very obviously blood and hair from a cat. In the oh, whoops, didn't mean to actually do that. But blood and hair from a cat, which means that I would have to hurt my cat, and there's no goddamn way I'm doing that. No way in hell. Okay. Hello! Hi! Are you the one I'm trying to s- Okay. Goodbye. It's him again. But I haven't taken my pills. Well, I imagine that a lot of this is really weird when you haven't taken your pills, but you haven't thought about that. Well, he opened the window. Thank you. But who is he? Maybe he's the mysterious force that's bringing me and my cat together. Oh, hey! How's it going there, buddy? Hey, you! Hey, you! Yes? Who's speaking? Me! I am turd! I have to tell you something. Yes, what is it? Yeah, I'm in great danger! Don't touch girl! Why do you say that? Maybe because they're creepy and mysterious and want to kill me and my cat? No, girl! I'm a toad! And I know I can swim away from this place. But they won't let me! Every time I try to get out of here, I magically come back! 
this house is like a huge magnet, and I don't know how they work. A toad and cat magnet. They love us, but not to give us love. Just to use us. Don't trust them. I won't trust them. I promise. They gave you a recipe for some kind of magic, right? How did you know that? Did you see the dead girl in one of the rooms? Well, that can be you if you try to do it. She tried, but she did it wrong. Well, what should I do then? I'm not as clever, though, no, but if I were you, I would be creative. Hmm, creative. I'll try my best. Okay, I'll do my best. Angle, please save us all. I really want to get out of here, but I'm just a toad. Okay, now I wonder, a rusty old bicycle in the middle of an island. Okay. A big, big rock, I'll leave it right there. So, is there anything else that I need? Moonlight on the water, you're so beautiful and calm. Okay, so I don't know if there's... I'm just gonna see. Ah! I knew this place might be different. Hello! Finally. My sister is trying to catch me, but I ran away. I'm scared. Would you help me? I have a monster inside my head. Okay. Fine then. Alright then. I always feel like the moon is following me. I wonder if the moonlight does the same job as sunlight. Something like that. I don't think it would take me very far. There's nothing but water around this house. Rusty old bicycle. Doubters. I guess some people believe you when it's written down. Doubters need the truth on paper. Okay, so that means that I, if I edit the paper, bada bing bada boom, I might be able to trick them into doing something else. I am a clever girl. Just like Jurassic Park. I'm the cleverest girl. And also, it's really amazing that I'm hauling around a giant pot full of water while I'm walking around. I don't know where I'm storing it, but man, this girl is strong. Okay, so if I... I could write something, but what? Well, maybe some new ingredients for something else? Like a new way to go about things? Maybe that would be a good idea? I don't know. Okay, let me examine this again. Cauldron with plenty of water. Or the frog hunter, a young version. Ugh, that's all bad. That's all bad stuff. All bad stuff. Okay, so there's gotta be a way to edit this. See, oh, what should I do? I refuse to do this. It can't be a good thing. Maybe there's something else I can do. I know. There's got to be something else I can do, so write it all down. Hmm. There we go. Close the window so the cold wind stays out. Now I can light the oven. I don't like to do it. Fire! Then I can use that. Okay, so that's going to be boiling. So then I could... Okay, there's something that I could cut. Oh. Combine the moonlight seed. Ah, okay. Moonlight. Okay, so it's a moonlight seed, and in the backyard there was some moonlight. So she wondered if moonlight does the same thing as sunlight, so that must mean there must be a way. I'm trying out things is good. There's, there must be a way that this works. Ah, there, there we go! Okay, now we're making progress. Okay, so now I got a really nice blue rose, and that supplements what exactly? But either way, we're on the right step, so, or we're on the right path, but this is just one step in the path. Okay. Did you find a solution already? I'm mentally stuck. I don't know what to do, I'm mentally stuck. I know you have something that makes sense you see things that others can't. How do you know that? I'm a talking toad, is that normal? I don't know. But you can talk to me, but that makes you special, illogical. Yes, you're right, I can talk to toads. I must be special. Have you seen everything? Maybe you're missing a message. I'll see what I can find. Okay, goodbye. 
Thank you. Oh, all right. I am thoroughly stumped, so I'm gonna figure this out in the next, like, in between this and the next episode, and then I'll get back to you as soon as I find out exactly what I'm supposed to do. But thank you, everybody, so much for watching. I really hope you're enjoying this series, and I will get back to this real soon, as soon as I rack my brain and tell myself what to do. So thank you again, and as always, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye! Oh, that's a baby head fountain! Oh, it's a, it's a baby head nuclear explosion! Oh, my God! Hi! How's it going there? Oh, oh! That's my head!